Alrighty there, welcome dwarves. We got a new new stream going on today. We're going to set up the caravan entrance. And I don't want to do it anywhere near the surface. Of course, we have a caravan entrance. We have the wagon depot, trade depot. But I like being able to have easy access to both the magma and the cavern layers, especially the bottom cavern layer. Um, that's my goal is to kind of work on that more than the other cavern layers because it's, it's where all the big fun creatures are and um, a lot of the wildlife down there I don't know if they're necessarily more valuable but they're just more fun to deal with so we want to spend some time down but in order to do that we've got to bring the caravan down because where we're at we're at negative 105 here with kind of our main thing that we want to go on. We've got our hospital here and, and a bunch of workshops and some stockpiles, which really isn't anything. We're just barely hanging on right now. There's there's a miner's hand. I almost uh, can't quite remember how he lost that. I found a really interesting geological formation here. This, this shape ends up being a spire that goes all the way down. It's solid on this layer, solid through the magma sea. Through to the second cavern layer, just below where we're at. And then we kind of got into this little spire with our bedrooms. We were just mining out gold, though. That's all right. We can still use it. The testing I did showed that you don't have to cover everything up or keep the, the entrances clean right here. It's the same spire through the first cavern layer, which is all the way up at like negative 10 or something so that's fun but we can use this spire the problem is going to be when we get here there's this is all moist stone around here um, there's an aquifer on this level just below the first cavern level so there's an aquifer a really light aquifer just below the surface probably due to this spring it's what what we would call a spring because this is its origination point up in the mountain, then it concentrates and just gets thicker and thicker as it goes down towards the ocean. That's probably the source of the first aquifer, but it's pretty light. It's pretty manageable. What type of books do we have here? Holy mackerel, that's a whole bunch of stuff. Cloth bins. Oh, full of stuff. What the heck? Wow, that's weird. Interesting. There's a book there, though. Wow, a hematite scepter, copper warhammer, training axe, silver spear, warhammer, an anvil. Oh, we could always use an anvil. Jet bound codex. Huh, I wonder who left this here. A uh, written portion consists of one page essays entitled Discovering Pass Ships. Past ships, that's an interesting fortress, authored by Lorvum Congason. Cossigan. It concerns the start as a poet of the dwarf Lorban Master Tour in Past Ships in 12. The writing is quite self indulgent. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. It is coated with repulsive slush, of course, because we're in a terrifying biome. No, oh, there's a merchant. And a pile of merchants' goods. I wonder what's up with that. I wonder if the merchants got... Oh, I wonder if they got knocked out by the repulsive slush and dropped all their stuff there. One of them. Because it's not everything the merchants had, but it's a good amount. They're on their way out. 
they're all gonna pass it. I wonder if my dwarves will claim it. Anyway, so that spire is right around here. I actually have, I took a screenshot and saved it in paint. I have the exact location of where it is. But the problem with doing this is that we're going to have to avoid the aquifer on the first cavern layer and just below the surface. And then the caravan, we actually don't want to drop it all the way down in here because we want to do more of a fortress. And I don't really want to do a bunch of the fortress too low. This is great. I love how low that is, but I want to go a little higher, like right here, because I want to do some controlled cave-in. So I need about, you know, three levels, three Z levels of leeway. So I think right there's right at the top is where we want to go with it yep so right at the top of this is where we want to go with it and then for the rest of the fortress let's see i think i want to come over here and just start yep mining out this area up here we can drop one z level hmm. yep that'll have to be good that'll be good that'll be good i don't know what i'm whining about That'll be great. That's perfect, actually. I, it's almost like I planned it that way. I'm going to have to redirect that miner, I feel. No, he's doing the best he can because <laughs> we're tapped into a secure water route here. What we need to do is build a fortification here and a floodgate here or a door and just lock the door. I don't know. Yeah, I might have to do a floodgate there. I don't think I have to worry about fire underwater, so I'm going to do a wooden floodgate. Yeah, we want to make the tavern right over here. And the caravan right here. We can start on that caravan route, but I really want to get this well done just so that they have a secure source of clean water that's underground. I want to start moving everybody into an underground status. Um, we really need more picks. That's kind of the bad situation we got going on here. We've got our beautiful magma forges, but we're gonna have to open these up to start doing a real metal industry. I don't know if we have any steel yet. Oh, no, we're making pig iron still. So once that pig iron's done, we can make steel. Then we can start a steel industry and get as much steel as we need. What do we got here? smelting tetrahedrite to make more black bronze we've got a few bars we've actually got enough we could start doing a, a bronze industry which is kind of what i was hoping to do but i guess that is right we need some copper bars in our pile for sure cool. yeah it's still going to be a bit of a walk to get all of our metal over to the fort but that's fine because we can make the finished goods or specific stockpiles for the things we want to trade in the fort and they'll just haul it in between and then if the caravan's close it's a shorter distance to get that good to the caravan as opposed to going all the way up to the surface is anyone yeah they're forging that anvil who's forging that anvil obak you're my hero cook that's that's funny the cook forge the anvil <laughs> okay cook oh my goodness i can't even i can't even yeah yeah we are fully set up here we're gonna have whole metal industries stretching out that metal over our little pool of magma that we sealed off from the magma sea so we don't get any magma snakes or magma crabs, or fire imps coming up through the floor. Ha ha ha. It's so good. So good. Yes, indeed. Metal industry. So now our only real concern is getting these offices. And then that, uh, ooh, we got our, our well worked out here. Let's see. Yep, it's all worked out. Sweet. That miner's so we fast. we want somebody to build a construction fortification. Right there. I have black bronze blocks. How do I? Oh, I know why I have black bronze blocks. Because I was going to make a black bronze well. That's what I'm working on. Okay, here we go. 
Or, oh, no, we need that door built. <laughs> Silly me. Silly me. Get him started on that well now. Well, right here, black bronze block, black bronze bucket, black bronze chain. Oh, I didn't make a black bronze mechanism. I don't think I could have. Do we have any of these that are like fancy or nice? We got some nice ortho, decent ortho place mechanisms right here. And far ways away. Oh well, cool. That's cool. Ortho place is neat. I guess it's kind of got a reddish color. It's the same color as the. Oof. We got fortification. Still rabbit. Repulsive slush again. People are getting knocked unconscious from the repulsive slush. Of course. Oh, that page is in a. Depression. Yeah. So wow. Come back from a break. First thing. There's an artifact sitting there waiting for me. That's pretty awesome. Cool. Alrighty. English bomber cash kadash woodworker has created a tetrasterist <laughs> birchin crossbow. He offers it to the wires of brass. Okie dokie. The raven is fighting. Okay, it's it's ravens uh falling down and coming out of the sky after being hit with the repulsive slush because they get knocked unconscious. Wow, that was so fast. I didn't if if it just happens to be lucky that I opened up that boyer's shop going, you know, if I don't have this workshop and someone gets a strange mood, they're going to go insane and I'm going to lose another dwarf. All righty, so let's check it out. What's here? It's right here. Let's look at it. All right, this is a birchen crossbow. All craft stores are of the highest quality. It is decorated with birch. The object menaces with spikes of birch and giant rat leather. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing we had some leather bins laying around. We'll just say that. A good thing we traded for some of those because we have not crafted any leather here. Yeah, we could use it to block that. Then it would just be sitting right here for everybody to look at. I think we're going to do that. We have a microcline floodgate that we haven't done anything with. Machines and fluids. Yeah. It's an artifact floodgate. So yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely need to get that on display and built up for everybody to see. Cool. That'll do it. That will do it. Bam. Holland diorite. Putting it up. Putting it down. Diorite walls. Diorite floors get that water to drain back down this way and hopefully we'll get some mist consistent mist oh nobody's wanting to get that there they go there they go oh and we got our well our black bronze well is up with its black bronze chain black bronze bucket and orthoclase mechanism the well is dry what oh Yes, it is. It's very dry. <laughs> we got our door in. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. What? Why is the well dry? Because we got to do that. Let's set it to a priority. See if we can get that miner right down on this. Oh, and we still got to appoint those offices. I don't feel like I have time to watch this, but it's the type of process that needs to be supervised. Clean self. No job. You're going to have to go all the way to the surface to clean yourself. I'm trying to get a well going here, dude. Like, that's a little frustrating. I'm sorry, that's just a little frustrating. He's got to go clean himself before he can come find out this tile and give me a well. Yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't know if I can supervise this. I just got to... Oh, here we go. The well will not be dry very soon. Lock that door. Ha! <laughs> run, run. Get out of there. <laughs> cool. He's continuing to go dig. Water. Let's make sure we don't have too much water pressure. Oh no, did that fortification get built? Looks like it did. <laughs> Open space water. 
The well is operational. Ha! <laughs> Sweet! I feel like we can put some floor grates around there later at a fancy material, maybe more black bronze, so that when they wash themselves, it can go down here and let it go to a reservoir somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want it there in the well room. That's actually the thing. I want my wells to look pretty. And it's hard because then they go wash themselves and then the well room's dirty and then somebody, you know, if, if you obsess and let them, they'll try to clean it. And see if we have any steel yet. Nope, no steel yet, but somebody's on it. So that means as soon as these uh, workshops open up, ooh, we already got that silver throne made. I wonder if we're still out of gold and couldn't make a golden chair. Yep. Uh, cancels gold table need three gold bars. But did we get a gold table here? We did, indeed. Oh, here we go. We can native gold or repeat. Do it now. What do we got? Steel, that's going on. Cool. Yep, so are they even... Have they got there yet? No, there's a chance, but it's probably going to get canceled. Oh, the repulsive slush is coming down. Going to knock somebody out. Uh, Ingish has created another masterpiece. Diorites after all. Craft store ship of Zofa. Highest quality. Uh, Stukos, the dwarven child, is stumbling around obliviously. That's a real sad thing. I don't know if... Let's see if there's anything I can do to make Stupo Stukos is life any better. We got toys and everything. What is your thing? You're haggard. High stamina, 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 mm, sloppy, sickly, good spatial sense, anxious. Well, that, that might have a factor here. Values, sacrifice, mm. I gotta tell you, friend, that's not gonna go so hot for you. Horrified when caught in freakish weather. Yeah, that's pretty standard around here. <laughs> a repulsive slush raining down. She didn't feel it. She anything. was content after a bath. Let's see what her preferences are. She is a nervous wreck, a strengthening after forced to drink slime. Oh, uh, yeah, we got a well now, buddy. She is. We have had drinks. I don't get what the drinking slime is about. She is completely oblivious to, uh, yeah, any conception of neatness and will leave things strewn about without care. Let's just go look at my still in the pile of mugs there to see if that's uncommon. A strengthening after being caught in freakish weather. Uh, she seeks out excitement and adventurous situations. Well, you're a kid. I can't put you in the military. She finds the humor in most situations, she tends not to reveal personal information. She often feels discouraged. She tends to be a little tight with resources when working on projects. Hey, <laughs> my fella. Uh, she tends to be swayed by the emotions of others. She is grateful when others help her and tries to return favors. She does not often feel lustful. She is slow to trust others. She needs preferences here we go here we go mica platinum chrysoprase boogeymen for their terror inspiring antics <laughs> then she prefers boogeymen for their terror inspiring antics oh my goodness and the sound of the amethyst ly lyrics when possible she prefers to consume anchovy and pomegranate wine she absolutely detests moon snails it's going to be hard to get her to consume anything specific. But liking mica, platinum, chrysoprase, those are those are doable things. We can make a bedroom with those things. And we can assign her to the bedroom. And I think that's what we're going to do. So we can tunnel you a little tiny bedroom, a little three by two yep three by two unconscious needs three gold bars yep oh so that means the silver thrones are done masterpiece diorite scepter again cool oh and that might mean cobalt tight tables done 
We got a lot of appointing to do. And I said we were going to get started on the darn... Uh, I wonder if we got that door. Boom. Gold door. Ah. Sweet. So that's office is appointed. We need more tables and chairs down here. Furniture. Chair. Silver throne. Silver throne. Silver throne. Table. Gold table. I think we're out. Yep. And we'll appoint those cabinets. I got them designated, but I don't have the cabinets built yet. Cool. It will be a dining hall. Mm. It, it It's a very difficult trait to overcome. Um, but it, it's still got to try. She's young. Um, a lot of time. Yep. That'll do. That'll do. Right? Because that's your ass office. Yep, we got to try. Got to try. Oh, that repulsive slush is really doing the trick for all these dwarves. Cool. Micah, though. Huh. Then we got to go back down to magma. Lair. And we're getting platinum ore. We have steel bars. We need two axe blades. And we only have one steel bar. Put that on repeat. And we're getting ready to do wagon only entrances. Alrighty. Someday. Someday. When we get those mica locks. And we can start. Yep. There's my ramp. I have to construct it though. Can't be mined. That's why I didn't mine the ramps. They just disappear if you try to mine them. So when I'm done, every one of those layers underneath each of those holes, I'm going to have to construct a ramp. So... After we get done working on mica blocks, then we will work on diorite blocks because we're not using diorite for anything else and we'll use that diorite to construct that rampway. And then in the end, we'll have this. So up to the surface, let's see if I can do anything with what I got going on here. I cleared I cleared out some we can build walls so yeah let's see how this is going we have another gold table we could put up yes hmm <laughs> weapon rack and armor stand that didn't do it for sure asked hmm <laughs> you picky person you've got modest quarters huh and we can smooth the walls and floors and then, then engrave them Shrast is the one I'm worried about Shrast is the one who needs other stuff you need improvements um, I don't know I'm not getting that fulfilled with study there that's kind of silly gold doors gold tables Jeez, what more could you want silver thrones come on now the ravens are falling down because they're getting hit by repulsive slush. Uh, yep, and an animal trainer gets knocked unconscious. Oh, and we didn't de we didn't even start making coins. Silly me. Oh my goodness, that's not good. Yeah, better make some black bronze coins right away. Hungry head leather right glove. This is a hungry head leather right glove. This object is heavily worn. It is coated with repulsive slush. That's a weird item. Okay, let's check what you're wearing. He has the hungry head leather left glove on. Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. Hungry head leather. But it was really weird because he was sitting up here really not doing anything for a long time. Still no mica blocks. 
Cobaltite weapon rack's not done. I don't know where that's being called from. He's gone. As soon as he hurts somebody, oh, please do not tip over a slab, my man. I gotta protect those slabs from getting tipped over. That's Those curses from tipped over slabs are not a good situation. Oh, we got another artifact coming in. Oh, mm, gem setter taken by a mood. Oh, they're out of here. Yeah, let's follow this mood. Yeah, unconscious, yeah. Oh, wow, he just stops. Mm, that's not a good sign. That's a sign that maybe... Oh, he's unconscious, yep. The, the repulsive slush got him on his way. Oh, no. I hope the time doesn't keep ticking on. I hope he comes back to you, uh, Icky. Have we been meeting our mandates? I hope so. <laughs> what do we got now? Make coins three out of three. Oh, geez, we should stop on making so many coins. Holy mackerel. I have no idea how many coins we have at this point. Oh, no. Stack of 500, yep. We can melt these down and remake them. I want to forbid at least one of these stacks. Okay, this is a stack of 500 Zardesim 106 Black Bronze Coin. This is the Black Bronze Currency of Zardesim from the year 106. On the front of the coin is a finely designed image of a demon rat. On the coin's back is a superiorly designed image of Thob, Showered Spears, the Dwarf, and Dwarves. Thob, Showered Spears is surrounded by the Dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the Dwarf Thob, Showered Spears to the position of Queen of the Outrageous Works in five. That's, that's pretty good. I like that. We're going to forbid at least one of these stacks of coins and hang on to them for another another year. Cool. I wonder if that imagery is going to change over the years. That's fun. Making coins is super fun. <laughs> okay, so we've forbidden one stack. The other stacks need to be melted down. Oh, the jeweler's workshop and began a mysterious construction already. Let's see, what do you have in there? What's in there? What's in there? Microcline and zircons. Nice. Oh, it's made out of microcline. Excuse me, he's got zircons. Nartosed. Nice. Another artifact for the fort. Diorite scepter. Unconscious. What about mica walls? Sweet. The gem center has created Narto said a perfect green zircon. He offers it to the wires of brass. Woo. <laughs> a perfect green zircon, huh? Let's pause it real quick. I'm sorry, that's worth celebration. What is a perfect green zircon? Never knew such a thing. This is a perfect green zircon. All craft storeship is of the highest quality. The object menaces of spikes of green zircon. Beautiful. So we'll have to put it on a display stand somewhere. We'll have to make a display stand. Late spring. Yeah, we need more plant gathering designations, that's for sure. Oh, is that a high wood? That high, ah, check it out. We got a heart high wood. Heart wood high wood. Wow. Sorry, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. What can I say? Check that out. Oh, that's unique. I wonder. I wonder how unique that is. Yeah. Yeah. 
anyway yeah i think i'm gonna have to share that later that's pretty cool Alrighty, what was i doing i got plant gathering designations right yep yeah we got a bunch of them there cool that should do and we've got our demon rats our our local demon rats that's why i love the coins so much because we got these demon rats everywhere on the map they're just lovely it's part of the terrifying biome ravens falling out of the sky do the repulsive slush falling um lots of people falling unconscious while they're gathering plants oh that just makes everybody so unhappy some people are really happy here though actually i think the tide's turning people are becoming happier uh, i'm gonna have to watch that later two out of seven right there cool yeah flooding flooding the cavern layer down here that's silly yep and we did it so oh that kid looks like they're having fun trade depot oh, we have 17 platinum bars i don't know quite how that happened how many we need three for the trade depot let's make a platinum depot yep cool your decent dining room has been met for some reason these aren't decent quarters what do you want i don't know okay thank you assign a new display item haha -ha. yeah cool that does it yeah sweet got some value there what is that diorite toy boat sweet looking good oh we got a goblin cap growing up there so man yeah and we got our gem sweet oh the kid's so happy so cool we got a lot going on okay um that's gonna that's gonna be so much hauling later when i take all this out it's kind of ridiculous but it is what it is i tried to reduce that as much as i could and then in the end i was like uh, i can't ultimately reduce all of it yeah we're finally getting that flooding out here like i wanted I really wanted to flood this out here for some reason. Just like a silly guy. I don't know. It makes me happy. Yep. Looking good. Looking good. We're just dumping water out into the into the cavern layer. So, oh, the depot got built. Guess what? That means the other depot. Ha-ha. <laughs> Are those humans still here? What happens if I deconstruct the depot while the humans are here? Shall we find out? I think we shall. Oh, here he goes. And where are they going? at all looks like they are going to go down to that new caravan sweet business check that out as soon as that wall gets built they won't be able to pass through there like that though someone getting he's getting on that gem window is that a kid yeah eight years old playing make-believe while building a gem window okay Oh, that's what stopped the cage trap from being built. Okay. Where's the giant mantis? That, that's pretty scary. Okay. It's just flying around. Maybe it's going to fly off the map. It's way up there now. They just saw it flying around. They're like, oh, get out of here. It's a giant mantis. Like, wouldn't you? That's scary. Of course it's scary. Yeah, perfect timing. That floor almost wasn't able to get built. Yep, just by that much. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Faymood Glassmaker. 
Luckily, luckily we got the glass magma furnace. Let's find them. And oh, we gotta focus. We gotta focus and get this done. We're catching all kinds of stuff. Dog. Oh, caught. A, I, not quite sure how we caught a dog. That should be our dog. I don't know. Repulsive slush again. Magma glass furnace, of course. Uh, uh, just go down there real quick. Real quick. And check it out. Oh, no. Cut gems. Logs. Oh, we need logs. Metal bars we got. Rough gems we got. Metal bars we got. Rough gems we got. Rock green glass. No! No! We could bake logs, but we don't have any raw green glass. She's gonna go insane. It did? Add a new task. Green glass. Make raw green glass. Somebody's on it. Sweet. We might be able to save her from insanity yet. What's that? Needs an empty bag. Oh, I made buckets. We need bags. Oh, no. And then somebody put muskmelon seeds in the bag instantly. Uh. Oh, no. The caravan from Zardasim has arrived. Here we go. Ay, caramba. Ay, caramba. The outpost liaison has arrived. Oh no, they can't access it with a wagon. What? No wagon access. We need to chop some serious wood. We're just going full out chopping down trees. Yep, over a large area. Yep. We're going to have so much wood and a war with elves. Not even joking. Woodchopper is going to be busy for a while, but... I can't wait another full year. Oh, well. Darn it. Maybe we'll get another caravan where they actually have a wagon. Humans come back, maybe. We're producing plenty of wealth, so trade caravans shouldn't be uncommon. Yep. Awaiting 235 items. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, we're not going to build anything else there for a bit. Let's see these dwarves just run up this ramp here. Feeding the depot. See, that's why we moved the depot down here. The traders have to go further, but our dwarves don't have to go anywhere. They're just picking up, cleaning up the mugs. <laughs> that are sitting there and then they'll be grabbing the scepters out of these craft dwarves workshops it's super quick and easy pathway and that's why oh they began the mysterious construction thank goodness they weren't going to go insane i almost forgot about them what did they grab raw green, green glass rectangular amethyst camachons date palm wood logs silver bars date palm like that silver cool rough lapis lazulis yes more silver rough jelly opals cool can't wait to see what they create. They could create literally a lot of things out of glass. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot. They're still bringing stuff to the depot. How many items are 162? They're making progress. Glassmaker has created Eggulkilob. Eggulkilob. Stinball Mosier. Holy mackerel, that's a long name. A green glass table. Yes, she offers it to the wires of brass. Very good news. Let's go check that out. Inspectigate. This is a green glass table. All craft worship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with pear cut amethyst and square brilliant cut jelly opals, studded with silver and decorated with briolette, briolette cut green glass gems this object is adorned with hanging rings of lapis lazuli and menaces with spikes of date palm wood on the item is an image of two dragonflies in silver now that 
That's a cool table. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. That's just too cool. Too cool. Yep. How many more items? 159. Hmm. Cool. Green glass table. Cool. Well, I think I'm going to call it there for the night. Um, thank you, everybody, for joining me and watching. And I hope you have a good week. We got to just keep stuff running for a bit. Oh, we got a diplomacy, and I'm going to pause it there. So, yep, I hope you all have a good week, and we'll catch you next week.